It's been an eventful 10 years on tour for Germany's Martin Keimer. Long before he became a two-time major champion, he was showcasing his abilities dominating amateur tournaments in Germany and then made a successful start in the pro ranks on the lower tiers of European golf. He shot a round of 59 in competition in Hamburg and quickly established himself as the future star of German golf. Success came quickly after earning his place on the European tour. In 2007, he was named Rookie of the Year and early the following season came his first victory at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship. His performance over the first three rounds left the rest of the field trailing in his wake and he overcame final round nerves to hold off Henrik Stenson and Lee Westwood to claim victory. Three wins and two years later, Keimer won in Abu Dhabi again, a victory which lifted him into the top 10 of the world rankings for the first time. In August 2010, he won his first major, the US PGA Championship, following a dramatic playoff with Bubba Watson at Whistling Straits. Keimer seized the initiative in the playoff at the third extra hole. Has he got the lane? Has he got the distance? It's magnificent, truly magnificent. Watson, by contrast, was struggling and saw his chances disappear after finding the greenside bunker. This championship is all but over. Martin Keimer, the last man standing at Whistling Straits. Keimer became only the second German after Bernhard Langer to win a major championship. His new aura of confidence saw him rise to world number one the following year, on the back of a series of impressive performances, including a third victory in Abu Dhabi. Well, to be honest, you know, everybody thinks becoming number one in the world is the, is the ultimate. You know, you should be one of the happiest person in the world. But when I came number one in the world, it was, uh, it was very empty. Because you ask yourself, you're 25 years old and that's it. You know, it's, it's difficult to, to handle at the beginning. But then after a year for me, I reflect on, on that experience. And then I could focus on, on golf again. Attempted swing changes saw Keimer's form suffer. But he did make the European Ryder Cup team at Medina in 2012. At the Ryder Cup, um, we need a lot going our way in order to have a chance to win. And the emotions, the whole week, and the expectations from, from your teammates and from yourself, especially in my case, you know, I, have, I haven't played great at all. So I said that many times that I would have, if I would have been not on the team, it would, I, was being, I would have been completely fine because I didn't deserve to be on the team. So, and therefore, it was important for me to do something for the European Ryder Cup team. And then, fortunately, I got that gift handed to me on Sunday afternoon or evening to make something massive happen in my career, um, to make something great happen for European golf, for my country. So, you know, emotions-wise, it's on a completely different level. And I would always say that that putt or that day um, means a lot more to me than, than winning, winning a major. Keimer's putt was the decisive moment in Europe retaining the Ryder Cup at Medina. But after such an incredible high, his form once again deserted the German. And in 2013, he had his first winless season since turning professional. Typically, Martin bounced back the following year, claiming two hugely prestigious titles. First the Players' Championship and then the US Open at Pinehurst. At the end of the day, in order to win tournaments, the only thing, you need two things. You know, you need to be prepared for the situation and you need a chance. So I had the chance at the players and I, and I won. Um, and then again at the US Open, I had a chance again. And it was just a matter of was I prepared to continue playing that great on the weekend or not. And um, afterwards, I know I was. That US Open win was Keimer's last victory, and the former world number one is now outside the world's top 80. 
However, at 33, he's still very much in the prime of his golfing life. It's a Ryder Cup year, and you certainly wouldn't bet against him adding to his 23 professional titles and claiming a place in Thomas Bjorn's team for the matches in Paris later this year. Thank you.